Welcome to the final regular season edition of the Tigers Men's Basketball Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. But then again, maybe this is the first postseason edition of the it's what do we do here? We played regular season games we've got to talk about, and we got postseason games we've got to talk about. Well, let's hope we're having a bunch more of these shows. That's all I hoped for this morning. That's why I'm saying this is the first postseason. Tiger men's basketball report. I like it. I like it. But let's go back to the regular season. Thursday night, Tigers take on the College of Charleston. Great atmosphere, sold out TD Arena. And you guys jumped on them. Second half, you had a lead, but unable to hold on. What was it down the stretch that caused Charleston to be able to come back? Yeah, obviously they're very good, and it was a crazy environment down there. You know, kudos to them. I. I you know, we, we a couple things. I think, really, we, we missed a lot of foul shots, and then we fouled too much. And to their credit, they were tw- 29 for 35. You know, a couple of those live ball turnovers mixed in there. You know, I thought for about 30, probably 34, 35, we played pretty good. Um, but we, we, we didn't close out the way we would have liked to. Um, some of that was, like I said, Char- Charleston. Um, we fouled them on some drives. Um, I thought we needed to be a little more disciplined. Um, and then we did miss a lot of free throws and, you know, and, and some front ends of uh, one-on-ones. And some of that in a, you know, a tight game and it can end up hurting you. And that's like missing the front end of a one-on-one is, is almost like a turnover. Yeah, and, and they got a chance to pick it off and come down at you too. Yeah. It's, hard, it's hard to rebound those two. Like they all rebound us, I think, by two. but. We had done it, and they were a great rebounds. We had done a good job on the glass, but the, I told our staff after that the foul shooting really killed us. Um, Coach Nick Timberlake was extremely impressive on Thursday night in in Charleston, and uh, I think a lot of the Cougar fans left there saying, "Well, that kid can shoot." He played like a pro, you know. Um, I think it's where he's where he's headed. Um, you know his. His, his ability to come off of screens and, and against a very good defensive team and make shots that, that was a that was a, a vintage uh, performance by Nick. Uh, you know, it was uh, you know we, we played that I thought a good tempo to kind of get him get him shots and then he certainly delivered. And he passed Billy Leonard for ninth place on the all-time scoring list. So it's funny I talked to Billy today who <laughs> get, uh, <laughs> who's the best and, and a, a tremendous. Supporter of us and, and, and me, uh, he, he he was very very complimentary of Nick. He said he's gonna visit him after the season on it. <laughs> and Billy's a heck of a golfer. Maybe he can teach Nick how to hit the driver a little straighter <laughs> than he does. Um, Saturday you go to Char- Wilmington, again another great atmosphere. Trask Coliseum, senior night for them. Um, their AD Jimmy Bass outgoing. They had a nice presentation for him also. So I think a lot of the fans were there for that also. You guys get down. It doesn't look good. Down by 13 in the second half. But the next thing you know, your defense holds UNCW to no field goals over 11 minutes. Yeah, great win against a very well-coached and talented Wilmington team. Obviously, they've got a double bye, and um, Coach Siddle's done a great job there. You know, we were, we were fortunate. I think it's the first time this year I'd say that we stole one. We've had a couple stolen Maybe a handful stolen from us. Um, yeah, I love going to Trask. I mean, they have uh, an unbelievable student section uh, right behind the the bench across from you. So you don't get them as, as quite as aggressively as we get it. Um, yeah, and, and they're good. I mean, it's a you know it it's been uh, in some ways you want to thank the conference for sending us down to Charleston and Wilmington at the end of the season because it's great weather and unbelievable atmospheres on the other side I'm wondering why do we got to go down there then and we don't get those teams back here then but that's a that's a topic for another day well you just said you want to thank them they'll probably do the same thing to you again next year (laughs) (laughs) we'll see Um, we will see you know and and then in this game the free throw shooting was excellent Nick Timberlake 10 of 10 from the foul line impressive you could have used some of that on Thursday night well, you can't bank those, and they're not free, that's for sure. Right. It's not easy to step up there and, and, and make those type of shots on the game pressure. And he, you know, 10 for 10, he delivered. And then, obviously, uh, Cam was spectacular on Saturday. And now, as we've talked about, and, and Charlie had a big time, big time. Second, second half. Second half. Yeah, so now we got to get 
all three of those guys on the same night. I also thought the big thing on Saturday for us was the defense of Christian May against two really good players in, in, in White and, and Phillips. And then Christian for Freshman made an unbelievable three-point shot late huge, in the game. Huge three. Yeah. Time biggest game biggest shot of his young, but what will be a very successful career. All right, so you finish the season third, 20-11, and 12-6 and six in the conference, just the second time in school history, back-to-back 20-win -back seasons. Now you head to D.C. for the CAA tournament, and you will face either Delaware or Northeastern Sunday night at 8.30. Um, you played Northeastern once. You beat them here. You played Delaware twice, lost to them up in Newark. You did not have Cam that game. And then you beat them down here. So two teams you're familiar with, two teams this year that you did have success against. Yeah, look, we're expecting a hard game. Both teams are good. You know, we're going to use this week to try to get better at a couple things we got to get better at and then try to blend in some, you know, somewhat common themes we see from both those teams. They, they, they play at a, a moderate tempo and, and some ball screen actions that they run. You know, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. This is, this is obviously, this is it this weekend. I'm, I'm proud of our guys for figuring out a way to get to 20 wins in spite of all the injuries and, 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 the, and the tough schedule and, you know, some adversity. So it, it's not easy to do. Um, you know, I told you we've. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud that we've had eight years of 18 or more wins. Um, Absolutely. You know, um, hopefully that's a, that's appreciated. Uh, you know, uh, we'll find out. Um, and but I'm excited about what this weekend can bring. There's some very good teams in our conference, but I I, I love our guys um, and, and and I believe in our guys. And now is the time and the opportunity for them to deliver on what we believe they're capable of doing. And I know they want to do that. Now, Saturday night, will you have the team watch the game either in person or we're gonna maybe go in, in, person. A, in, a, in a room? We're, we're going to go over it in, in, in person. I think it's a, it's a – we have guys that really love basketball, and, and this group is studies more film than any group I've been around. So that it, it's a scouting opportunity for them. Uh, to, to get in there live and, and see it. So it would actually save us a little time in the back end. We won't have to do a walkthrough that night in the hotel, get them to sleep before we go to shoot around in the morning. Um, now I'm going to ask a question that I know the answer to, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Any preferences to who you play on Sunday? I would prefer they have a triple overtime <laughs> game on Saturday night. Honestly, both teams are good, good teams. I don't care what records say, um, you know, uh, Obviously, we had a tough loss to Delaware last year in, in the tournament. Um, and, you know, uh, they have, in my opinion, uh, two all-league players that are really, really good. And, and they've battled some injuries. Um, and, you know, I have great friendship and respect for Bill Cohn. I mean, Telford, Doherty, Princeton, really good players. Um, feels like Billy and I play each other every year. In the <laughs> it's bizarre every year in the tournament. So, um, you know, we gotta we gotta we gotta play good basketball, right? Um, it's a 40-minute tournament. That's it for the chance to get to the next night, and and our guys will be excited for it. But it's this is the this is the deal in these you know mid, mid great mid-major tournaments. It's exciting. It is, and the Tigers will play 8:30 on Sunday night. I'll have it for you on TowsonTigers.com. Then the Tigers will play again at 8:30 on Monday night, and then they will play at 7 o'clock on Tuesday. So be prepared for all three of those eventualities. Coach, thank you. Next week, it'll be round two of the postseason Tiger Basketball Report. My bad. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next week.